Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss two colligative properties: elevation of boiling point and depression of freezing point. First topic is elevation of boiling point. Now the term boiling point means that means we can say the liquid starts to boil when its vapor pressure is equal to the atmospheric pressure. So boiling point is the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a liquid becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure. Now when we add a non-volatile solute to a volatile solvent, so as discussed earlier, so when we dissolve a non-volatile solute to a volatile solvent, the surface of the liquid is covered up not only by the volatile solvent, by also the non-volatile solute as a result of which vapor pressure of the liquid decreases. So in order to make the solution boil, is vapor pressure, we have to increase the vapor pressure. Now how to increase the vapor pressure? So as the vapor pressure of the solution is less in comparison to the vapor pressure of the pure solvent. Now to make the solution boil, we have to increase the vapor pressure. And this can be done by increasing the temperature above its above the boiling point of the pure solvent okay now that means to make the solution as the vapor pressure decreases so to make the solution boil the vapor pressure must be increased so how to increase the vapor pressure by raising the temperature or increasing the temperature above the boiling point of the pure solvent so graphically do they have same kotha to graphically interpret koro tetiyale this is suppose x axis y axis so temperature versus vapor pressure so e curve to ki bole ko mone vapor pressure temperature curve showing elevation of boiling point of a solvent in solution so this is suppose the vapor pressure of the solvent so as the temperature increases the vapor pressure increases as temperature increases vapor pressure increases okay now when we dissolve a non volatile solute to a volatile solvent so when we dissolve a non volatile solute then vapor pressure decreases so this is for pure solvent now this is for the solution so vapor pressure of the solution so as we dissolve a non volatile solute you can see from this graph that vapor pressure of the solution is less in comparison to the vapor pressure of the pure solvent now the liquid starts to boil at a particular pressure suppose here it is one atmospheric pressure one atmospheric pressure so suppose ami dhui loisu consider korisu the liquid is suppose water so it will boil at 100 degree 100 degree temperature okay pressure is one atmospheric pressure okay so suppose this is the pressure where well, liquid starts to boil so this is boiling point of the pure solvent this point is the boiling point of the solution okay so the corresponding a duta point or corresponding temperature is temperature corresponding temperature so t b naught T B naught is the boiling point of the pure solvent. So this is the point where liquid starts to boil. That is atmospheric pressure. Vapor pressure is equal to atmospheric pressure. One atmosphere consider goes to one atmospheric pressure. So this is the corresponding temperature when liquid starts to boil. So this temperature, this is the pure solvent, boiling point of pure solvent, which is represented by T B naught, boiling point of the pure solvent. Okay. Now this is this point is the boiling point of the solution now as we know vapor pressure when we dissolve a non volatile solute the vapor pressure decreases now to make the solution boil we have to raise the temperature so the corresponding temperature air corresponding temperature to hobo, this one so this corresponding temperature is tb so this is the corresponding temperature car temperature the boiling point of the solute uh, solution when we dissolve a non-volatile solute to it. So you can see from this 
that boiling point of the solution increases okay so when we add a non volatile solute to a liquid solvent then boiling point of the solution increases and this difference in boiling point this difference in boiling point that is the boiling point of the solution is higher than the boiling point of the pure solvent this difference in boiling point is known as del tb that is elevation of boiling point okay so the difference in boiling point of the solution tb and that of the pure solvent tb not is called the elevation of boiling point it is represented by del tb and elevation of boiling point so we can say mathematically that elevation of boiling point is tb minus tb not okay now for a dilute solution it has been found that the elevation of boiling point is directly proportional to the molal concentration of the solute in the solution so for a very dilute solution elevation of boiling point is directly proportional to molal concentration molal concentration that means molality so we can say that del tb is directly proportional to molality okay now if we want to remove this proportionality symbol so we have to add some constant so del tb is equal to kb into m so this kb is the constant now this kb constant is known as boiling point elevation constant or molal elevation constant or ebullioscopic constant okay kete ba numerical o diya thakibo ebullioscopic constant value is given okay so ebullioscopic constant means kb molal elevation constant ebullioscopic constant boiling point elevation constant that is kb now when m is equal to 1 mole per kg molality is 1 then del tb is equal to kb so we can say that the molal elevation constant we can define it as the ele molal elevation constant kb kb is equal to del tb that is molal elevation constant can be defined as the elevation in boiling point when one mole of a non volatile solute is dissolved in 1 kg of solvent okay so when molality is 1 molality 1 means one mole non volatile solute is dissolved in 1 kg of solvent and the unit of kb is kelvin kg per mole unit you have to remember kelvin kg per mole okay so we know that molality molality is number of moles no and number of moles means mass of the solute divided by molar mass of the solute and mass of the solvent in kg so if it is in gram then you have to use this 1000 okay so where the term wb represent mass of the solute in gram molar mass of the solute wa mass of the solvent in gram so we can write del tb is equal to kb so m or thad kb into m na so in place of m we can put this value so del tb is equal to kb wb into 1000 divided by mb into wa now from this just simplify koi we can calculate out the mb mb is the molecular mass or molar mass of the solute so using this formula we can calculate the molar mass of the solute okay so let us try this one boiling point of water at 750 mm mercury is 99.63 degree centigrade how much sucrose is to be added to 500 g of water so that the solution uh, so that the solution boils at 100 degree centigrade kb value for water it is 0.52 kelvin kg per mole so first given 
mass of water or mass of solvent it is given 500 gram boiling point of water pb not pure water boiling point of water is 99.63 degree centigrade boiling point of the solution it is 100 degree tb so tb not 99.63 tb is 100 that means we can find out del tb and we can as the solute is given it is sucrose so we can find out the molar mass of sucrose so sucrose c12 h22 o11 so molar mass is 12 into 12 1 hydrogen or 1 into 22 plus 16 oxygen is 16 into 11 so it is 342 gram per mole okay and the elevation of boiling point elevation of boiling point is del tb del tb is tb minus tb not solution or to be see how boiling point so tb minus tb not so 100 degree centigrade 99.63 degree centigrade so it will be 0.37 degree centigrade so yak ma ko theta ko so suppose um, it is 100 degree centigrade so a to unit to mark is 0.37 degree centigrade so 0.37 degree centigrade is equal to more equal 0.37 degree kelvin also as now why kelvin will equal to more now if i convert 100 degree centigrade to uh, your kelvin kelvin will be 273.15 i have to add similarly i have to add here 273.15 okay so difference to give ultimately same hoga. so it is 0.37 degree centigrade so 0.37 degree centigrade and 0.37 kelvin same hoga, no? because 100 degree centigrade of jodi ami kelvin alloy convert koru 273.15 or 273 ami add kori. similarly here also 99.63 ami 273.15 at cold. so difference to kyo same hobo point three seven degree hobo okay so next using the formula del tb is equal to kb wb thousand divided by mb into wa so we can write wb is equal to del tb wa into mb divided by kb into thousand now putting the values value to put coil and from WB that is the mass of the solid 121.67 gram okay so next problem 18 gram glucose is dissolved in 1 kg of water at what temperature will water boils at 1.013 bar that is one atmospheric pressure kv is water is given so given values are mass of solute is given mass of solvent it is given 1 kg that is 1000 gram molar mass of the solute we can calculate as the solute is glucose so 6 carbon atom so 6 into 12 then your 12 hydrogen atom 12 into 1 6 oxygen atom 6 into 16 so 180 gram per mole so kb is also given now we have to apply this formula so so we can find out this del tb okay so now putting the values so del tb is 0 0.052 kelvin so we have to find what at what temperature will water boil okay when we dissolve a non-volatile solute the temperature you have to find out that is tb you have to calculate okay so since water boils at 373.15 kelvin 373.15 kelvin means 100 degree centigrade okay at 
one atmospheric pressure that is 1.013 bar pressure so del uh, sorry tb naught is equal to 373.15 kelvin del tb is 0 0.052 kelvin so again we know since del tb is equal to tb minus tb naught so tb is equal to del tb plus tb naught so putting the values again 373.15 plus 0 0.052 kelvin kiman palo 373.202 kelvin next topic is depression of freezing point so elevation of boiling point of parameki palo so when we dissolve a non volatile solute to a vol volatile solvent the boiling point increases now in depression of freezing point that means when we dissolve a non volatile solute to a volatile solvent then freezing point decreases okay so depression of freezing point so freezing point is defined as the temperature at which the vapor pressure of a substance in its liquid phase is equal to the vapor pressure in its solid phase so freezing point is the temperature when vapor pressure of the liquid solvent is equal to the vapor pressure of the solvent in its solid phase so solid phase or at a solvent or solid phase and liquid phase g2 point of in equilibrium then it is known as the freezing point okay so a solution freezes when its vapor pressure is equal to the vapor pressure of the pure solvent so when we add a non volatile solute okay non volatile solute to a volatile solvent so vapor pressure ki over decrease over and it would be equal to that of solid solvent at a lower temperature okay so it will be graphically represent kori explain kori so let's check so this is x axis y axis temperature vapor pressure so vapor vapor pressure against temperature draw kori so so suppose this is for liquid solvent vapor pressure so vapor pressure curve for liquid solvent so vapor pressure of the liquid increases with rise in temperature okay now vapor pressure of frozen solvent suppose this is water this is your ice okay so when the liquid solvent liquid solvent water so water or jethi ami temperature cool korim water to cool korim so as the temperature decreases so this is the vapor pressure of pure liquid you can see the temp as the temperature increases vapor pressure increases so when we cool the liquid solvent to me cool kori so liquid liquid to me cool kori so pure solvent cool kora loga loga this is the point g2 point of the solid starts appearing so this is the point where solid starts appearing that means a to point this is the vapor pressure of frozen solvent that means ice will you can consider okay so this is the point where the vapor pressure of liquid solvent and vapor pressure of the solvent in a solid phase they exist together so this is the point to come freezing point of the pure solvent freezing point okay jod vapor pressure duta same ho now when we dissolve a non volatile solute non volatile solute when we dissolve to a volatile solvent vapor pressure ki hai vapor pressure decreases so this blue line represent the vapor pressure of the solution so this is the vapor pressure of the solution so vapor pressure of the solution decreases when we add a non volatile solute to a volatile solvent 
okay so as you can see that when we add a non volatile solute to a volatile solvent the vapor pressure of the solution decreases so at lower temperature so you can see from this as vapor pressure decreases so at this lower temperature this is the liquid solution no? liquid form so at lower temperature the vapor pressure of the solution is equal to the vapor pressure of of the liquid in its solid state this is the point so when we dis dissolve a non volatile solute to a volatile solvent so corresponding freezing point ki hobo decrease ho this is the freezing point of pure solvent so when we dissolve a non volatile solute vapor pressure of the solution decreases so when the solution starts when we start to cool it so on cooling this is the point where the vapor pressure of the solution and the solid phase exist together okay so this is the corresponding temperature or freezing point of the solution so this is the freezing corresponding free temperature is the freezing point of the pure solvent this is the corresponding temperature of the solution so i mean jodi ya so this is for pure solvent so this is temperature corresponding temperature is the freezing point of the pure solvent tf not and next it is the freezing corresponding temperature freezing point of the solution okay now this difference pure solvent or freezing point temperature is higher than tf so we can say tf not minus tf this difference is known as del tf okay which is equal to depression of freezing point so the difference in the freezing point of pure solvent tf not and that of the solution tf is known as depression of freezing point that is tf so we can say depression of freezing point is del tf is equal to tf not minus tf okay so again for a dilute solution depression of freezing point is directly proportional to molality of solution so del tf is directly proportional to molality m the proportionality symbol if we remove this proportionality symbol so del tf is equal to kf into m now the constant is kf this constant is known as freezing point depression constant molal depression constant or cryoscopic constant which depends on the nature of the solvent so again if m is equal to 1 mole per kg that is molality is 1 then tf is equal to kf so we can say that this molal depression constant kf can be defined as the depression in freezing point del tf when 1 mole of a non volatile solute dissolve in 1 kg of the solvent okay agarton is in the same so kf is equal to molal depression constant when m is equal to uh, kf is equal to molal um, depression of freezing point when molality is 1 that is 1 mole solute non volatile solute dissolve in 1 kg of solvent unit is kelvin kg per mole so again molality you know molality ki hai molality is w number of moles divided by mass of the solvent in kg so mathematically we can write it like this where wb mass of the solute in gram mb molar mass of solute wa mass of the solvent in gram so del tf now put the value of m so simil in the similar manner we can find out uh, mb molar mass of the solute now the values of kb duta constant palu na me kb molal elevation constant or ebulloscopic constant kf molal depression constant or cryoscopic constant kf which depends on the nature of the solvent and concentration of the solution and kb or kf for value ki hoy kb is equal to r 
into m a del t b naught del b h into thousand so k v value to cure k b r is equal to r r means gas constant this is the molar mass of the solvent so it depends on the solvent now k b is solvent dependent and del t b not it is the boiling point of the pure solvent divided by enthalpy of vaporization into thousand similarly k f is equal to r into m a r gas constant m a molar mass of the solvent t f naught that is the freezing point of the pure solvent enthalpy of fusion into thousand so r value universal gas constant m a is molar mass of solvent t b is the boiling point of pure solvent t f is the freezing point of pure solvent del v is enthalpy of vaporization of the solvent and del h fusion that is enthalpy of fusion of solid solvent next let us try this one calculate the mass of ascorbic acid formula is given to be dissolved in 75 gram of acetic acid to lower its melting point by 1.5 degree centigrade so del uh, 1.5 degree centigrade now kf so given is molar mass sorry mass of the soli solvent is given 75 gram acetic acid depression in freezing point del tf is given 1.5 degree centigrade so 1.5 degree centigrade that means uh, we can use the numerical value 1.5 okay so yeah kelvin lo convert kuribo na lage kyo na lage because del tf it is the difference so if we uh, del del t tf del tf means t f not minus t f this difference so t f not if you convert from centigrade to kelvin and t f also from centigrade to kelvin the difference to kyo semi hobo no so 1.5 degree then your kf value is given and we can calculate out the molar mass of solute mb as formula is given it is 176 gram per mole so del using the formula del tf is equal to kf into wb into 1000 divided by mb into w so we have to find out the mass of ascorbic acid that is wb molar mass uh, sorry mass of ascorbic acid molar mass it is already we calculated out 176 so wb is equal to del tf wa into mb divided by kf into 1000 putting the values just you calculate it is 5.08 gram thank you